Hey everyone, welcome back to Minta. This is Eric and in today's video, we're going to cover the Minta video editor. You can access the Minta video editor by clicking the edit icon next to each video preview. You can do this from the homepage, the create page, and in my projects page, if you head over to any of the folders and click on any of the videos, you will find the edit icon right in here. Let's click the edit icon to see what it actually looks like. So this is the Minta video editor. You can always close the Minta video editor by clicking the X button. And once you're happy with the results of what you're seeing in the video, you can always share it to social media, but this is not a video about the sharing capabilities. So if you want to learn more about Minta's sharing capabilities, just click the help video button on this page. I'm just gonna close it for now. And I'm back in the Minta video editor. On the left menu, you're going to see different categories of things you can customize using the Minta video editor. Let's start with the design. This will allow you to choose different templates for different use cases in your products and store. Right now, you can see all the videos are for the latest type of activity, but you can change that to any of the activities you can see in here. Anything from new in, Christmas, bestsellers, fall sale, product videos, etc. Let's say that I want to pick a new collection. So I'm just gonna click this one. And here are multiple stunning video templates for new collections. You can preview each and every of these templates by hovering over them. And if you pick something you like, you can just click on it in order to select it. And then the preview part is going to update accordingly. Every change that you make on the Minta editor is going to reflect immediately and instantly in the preview area. One thing that is important to know about the Minta video editor is that the options on the left side are going to change according to the relevant templates. Some templates may contain multiple products, therefore in the media section, you're going to be able to have more options. Some video templates may include some text input, so you're gonna have the option to edit that. All of these changes are going to change according to the relevant template that you choose from. For example, this template right here doesn't have any custom text field for you to input, but if I'm going to choose this one, for example, you can now see that on the left menu, the text option is opening up and showing right here. So if I'm going to click this one, it's going to ask me for two different text lines for this video template. Let's just change those to visit the store and maybe shop now. And if I'm going to click the preview button, I'm going to see the changes reflect immediately in the video template. The next thing we'd like to edit would be the product media. These are the product images. Again, this tab may change based on the type of template. Some template may only support one product, but this template, as you can see here, support up to three products. You can click the add products button to select products from your store. Let's just pick this one and let's add another one, this one. You can also choose which product is going to show up first in the video template. So if I'm going to click the preview button right now, as you can see, the product that I dragged all the way to the top is now showing up first. You can also customize the images further by clicking the custom tab right here. In this tab, I'm going to see all the media for this post. So if I want to change any of these images, I can just click the replace button right here. It's automatically going to display all the product images available on the store, but you can always upload your own on the upload tab or just search from over 2 million patterns and photos right here. I'm just gonna go back to the catalog because I'm pretty happy with this image. I do think it's the best option here. And I'm gonna go back to the media tab. Other than that, I'm pretty much happy with the design. I'm just maybe going to change the background. I'm gonna go to patterns and I'm going to use this nice, I don't know, pink type of thing. And let's click preview. can see the images according to what I just selected. And we have the outro. Moving on to the next option, that would be the fonts. Very simple. You can just change any of the fonts right here from the available list of fonts in here. I'm just going to keep it as it is because it is matching my brand. Next, music. This is where you can select the background music for the video. There is a huge list of music clips from you to choose from, and you can always set it up to have no music at all. Next, the colors. Minta's AI automatically recommends these colors for this video and you can pick any two colors from here, but if none of them matches your brand or you just feel like doing something else, you can always go to the custom tab and pick your own two colors that are going to show up on this video. Because we picked some sort of a pink-ish post, I'm going to select this one and just click the preview button. And you can already see that some of the patterns in the background changed their colors. The last thing that you can edit is the brand slide. You can turn it off completely 
but if you turn it on, you're going to have the option to add an intro and an outro for your brand. You can choose the logo and you can choose the style for the beginning and the end. You can also turn on and off each one of these options. I'm just gonna keep it on. For the entry, I'm just gonna keep the logo. And for the ending, I'm going to have a logo and a promotion and I'm going to keep the text as it is. Here it says buy now with free shipping and here it says mywebsite.com. I'm just going to preview that and let's have a look at the branding. Here is the outro and this is it guys. I think this video is stunning and ready to be shared on social media. This is everything you need to know about the Minta video editor. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please make sure to comment them in the comment section below and I promise we will answer each and every one of you. Also, if you need any help or assistance, please make sure to reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.